This blog started off in my head as a bit of fun about the GoPro Hero 9 and the Invisible Dog, which is what I've named it. But it sort of turned into a review on the newer 53-in-1 uh, things for action cams and GoPros. I looked online and I saw this, and he, he sort of... It was going to cost me fourteen ninety. Well, it did cost me fourteen ninety nine. Now twenty three something on on Amazon. Uh, but I looked at it and I thought, what the hell? Give it a go. So on Saturday morning, I ordered this thing fourteen ninety nine, fifty three pieces, and it then said free delivery. And do you want it today? So <laughs> so for, for what I paid, I ordered this thing, and it came that evening. And I looked at it, and it's got so much stuff. It's got wrist straps, it's got bags and bags and bags of these, it's got grip things, it's got more, that's a bicycle clamp, it's got a thingy for your swimming, you, you put your action cam onto this and it doesn't, it floats, it doesn't sink and, and you lose it, it's got a full chest rig and it's got um, a thing for your iPhone, a selfie stick, an extension stick and it's got just lots and lots, that's fairly pants i would not trust that on a car i would probably trust it on a window perhaps or on on tiles but no i wouldn't trust that however it's got loads and loads it's got a cold shoe mounts it's got all sorts of great stuff which for 14.99 and 23.99 to you this morning on amazon uh prime it really is good but the reason for the, the reason for the blog was that uh one thing that was in there was this extending selfie stick and it's got it comes with a mount, you can put your GoPro on there. So I thought, we'll try something different. You can try some stuff at height, some on the ground. So we took the dogs out yesterday and I set it going. I extended it and put it right on the ground. So I wanted a dog's eye view of what you what I was doing, what I was recording. So I record this in uh, the standard mode, 5K linear with uh, horizon levelling and start off walking. And the reason for it being called... Uh, GoPro Hero 9 and the Invisible Dog will become clear when you see the bit of the clip where I'm walking with this thing extended. But this Niwa 53 in 1, I can't tell you how good it is. There's some bits, I mean, this is fairly compared to a, 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 a better little tripod. Because all you want to do is put your, put your tripod on there, put your tripod on the ground, and put your GoPro on. It's no good for a normal camera, but for a GoPro on a table, it's fine, it's no, it, it bends, it does its thing. Uh, and I'm really, really impressed for what I paid for all the stuff that you get. So this is a quick review on the Neewa 53 in one. There's, there's, there's bits you wouldn't use, but there's so much stuff that I will use. The one thing, I, as I said, the one thing I think that is poor quality I won't use is this sticky thing. Uh, in the house, perhaps, outdoors, on a car, Never, never, never. But uh, so this is the review on the 53 and 1 Niwa, and we'll now go into why I call this thing the uh, GoPro Hero 9 and the Invisible Dog. So let's move this 48 of uh, 51 of the items out of the way, and let's concentrate now on the things that I've used and I can tell you about. This little thing here would go on there, and that's where you put your iPhone. And it's a good little selfie stick. It doesn't have the controller, so you can't... I mean, if you've got your selfie stick out here, then you can't really do anything with it. Uh, but this extends to a metre, just under a metre. And it's quite rigid. It's quite good. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. It's like an old-style car aerial. Uh, but it comes down to that size, and this goes on there. You can put other things... You can put a longer arm on there if you wanted to, to make it even longer. But the other day, in fact yesterday, I used it this way up, extended the arm all the way down, and then had this that far from the ground when we were walking the dogs. I'm getting a dog's eye view. But when it's extended and you're walking, it is like you've got, you've got a dog lead and the invisible dog. Uh, and I got some strange looks from people we walked past. So this is, this is the selfie stick, and I used it this morning uh, for a hyperlapse. And I'm going to use it again. But it fits in your pocket. It comes down to that sort of size. Fits in the jacket pocket, okay, or it's okay to carry. Yesterday I just carried it. But let's go back now. Let's go in now to the video I shot yesterday and show you what it did. In good light, sunny weather, 
this is beautiful. I'm shooting in the flat profile and flats are like normal. I, I mentioned this in my, my blog the other day. The flat profile, it's not a log profile, it's not a D-log, it's not a D-cine like, it's nothing like that. It's just a normal profile. So where you would, where the GoPro colour is way oversaturated and you would, in, in post, you'd really have to drag those sliders down. The flat profile, really, really good. But let's get back to this. This is what I'm going to talk about today. This is the, the GoPro Hero 9 on a selfie stick, upside down, extended, that near the ground, with walking like the invisible dog. The nice thing about having the pole so long is that you can just dip it into water. And this is one of Meg uh, walking in the water and I just uh, wanted to catch them at sort of water level and then go underwater to see Meg's feet just walking in the water. For this last bit, I just wanted to get a little bit of hyperlapse. Uh, extend, the, extend the pole and just uh, set the hyperlapse going and these are the results. And that's it for today's review of the Niwa 53-in-1 Action Camera Accessory Kit available from Amazon and then taking the selfie stick out, connecting it to the GoPro and then walking along looking like a bit of a dick by having the invisible dog. If you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.